In the previous lectures we discussed the alpha and beta receptors antagonists. This lecture will be the last one in this part, and it'll be about the adrenergic neuron blockers. What are they, and their mechanism of action and therapeutic uses? That's what we're going to talk about in the next three minutes. And you'll find the PDF of this lecture down in the description. Let's start. The adrenergic neuron blockers are those agents that act by inhibition of, the release of catecholamines, such as guanathidine. The storage of catecholamines, such as rizapine. The synthesis of catecholamines, such as alpha-methyldopa. Let's discuss them one by one. Guanathidine is transported across the sympathetic nerve membrane by the same mechanism that transports norepinephrine itself, so in this step it competes with norepinephrine so it can potentiate exogenously applied norepinephrine. Once guanathidine has entered the nerve, it is concentrated in transmitter vesicles, where it replaces norepinephrine. This leads to a gradual depletion of norepinephrine stores in the nerve endings. Once inside the terminal it blocks the release of norepinephrine in response to arrival of an action potential. So we can conclude that this agent can be used in the treatment of hypertension. Rizapine, inhibits granular uptake and storage of biogenic amines, such as norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin, from the cytoplasm into storage vesicles in the adrenergic nerve terminals in all body tissues. And this causes depletion of biogenic amines. So of course the sympathetic function is impaired, because of decreased release of norepinephrine. It has been used for the management of hypertension, but has largely been replaced with newer agents with better side effect profiles, and fewer drug interactions. And the last one, alpha-methyldopa, acts by inhibition of dopa decarboxylase enzyme, which converts dopa into dopamine. And as we know, dopamine is a precursor for norepinephrine and subsequently epinephrine. This inhibition results in reduced dopaminergic and adrenergic neurotransmission in the peripheral nervous system. It is converted to alpha-methylnorepinephrine by dopamine beta-hydroxylase. Alpha-methylnorepinephrine is an agonist of presynaptic central nervous system, alpha-2 adrenergic receptors. Activation of these receptors in the brainstem, appears to inhibit sympathetic nervous system output and lower blood pressure. It is used in the treatment of hypertension. And the most important thing you should know about alpha-methyldopa, is that it is one of the preferred treatments for high blood pressure in pregnancy. That's all for this video, and finally we've completed the autonomic nervous system lectures. If it was useful for you support us using like or comments, share with your friends, subscribe and wait for the next chapter.